In the last video I showed you how to install local AI package and the v1 local rec AI gen as you can see here. We configured it and tried a simple example with Wikipedia. Now we want to take a look at the other two agents, the v2 super base and the v3 local AI agentic rec. Um, as you can see I already enabled them. They are active so let me quickly show that they are actually working so we are back in open web ui i already configured here two additional um, agents with the webhooks i will show later how to configure it actually but now let's see if they work let's do a simple hi and see if it responds and yes, as you can see, it responded. Let's do the same with V3. Let's do a new chat. And this one is working as well. So um, let's do a more advanced example. So they both work with additional files so you can build your own knowledge base. So for this, you need to put uh, content into it. I prepared a text file here. There is a fictive um, yeah, description of a software called Smart Code AI. So we can validate if the output is as we want. So what we now need to do to bring it into uh, the system is to copy this file then within our local AI packaged folder we cloned in the last video there is a shared folder as you can see here make a little, little bit bigger there's a shared folder this one is mounted into the container so we can quickly take a look here in docker I pull it over and then if we go to the n8n instance this one click bind mounts then you can see that this folder is actually mounted into the container so if you put this file now into this shared folder we can go back to docker again and then let's go into the container files and as you can see here now the bolter diy text file is within the container and the AI has access to it. As we can now go, no, let's let's do the, the example first. So let's check out V3 and ask it what is smart go the AI. So remember, we also don't have search enabled, so it could not find anything on the web to get an answer. So let's see what we get back. Takes a while, and as you can see, we got the description let's quickly check with the with my document you can see it for example the languages ides and so on so this is uh, the answer from our doc so this is working let's check the v2 as well let's do a new chat what is now for the ai and this is working as well so we also got all informations so now the question is how do we configure it so let's start with v2 and we are in the workflow and what we need to do is configure the olama chat model here as well but it should be automatically from the first video configuration so olama should be fine if not create the olama account and or just choose it if you configured it in the last video then the next one is the postgres for postgres it's the same we also configured it in v1 so you can also take these credentials here then we got the super base vector and this you need to configure the first time so if we take a look at the configuration then the host needs to be the container name of Superbase Kong. So let's take a look here back in Docker containers. And if we go back to uh, down to Superbase, then it's this container. So it's with port 8000 and the container name is Superbase Kong. 
this is the one we need here. And the service role secret you can get from the env file as shown in the first video. Let's quickly go in. Here's the .env file we created. Let's open it and if we take a look at line 26 then you can see here the service role key. You need to copy this one and paste it here. As soon as you save here on the top, you will see the connection tested successfully. Okay, now we don't want to save now. And the rest is nothing you need to configure for now. What else do we have? I think that's it for this one. Yeah, you just can choose the same if it is not done automatically. And this is also Olama we already got. Yeah, this should be fine. So this is everything you need to configure. And as soon as you are done with configuring, make sure there is no more errors so you would see it on the node and then click save it will also tell you if there is something missing some credentials missing then you get an error and can fix this okay now this is done the indexing is working so here is the trigger i just shared on the beginning here is the data shared folder which is um yeah, in the local AI package by default, you could change this by um, editing your Docker Compose file. I will not show this now because let's stick with the defaults for now. But if you're interested, let me know. We can do additional videos for it. This is then working if we put in files within this folder. So what else we need to do to make it work with uh, Open Web UI, as we've seen here, with v2 we need to take a look at this webhook here and you need to change the path because yeah uh, in the default they all got the same name so we would have yeah we would trigger with the same webhook all three uh, workflows what at least i don't want so i do a v2 for the second one so i can just use this one then you go to the production url here click it one time and as you can see it's copied and we can go over to open web ui again then we go again as in the first video here on top right to your profile admin panel functions and then you can add a new function if you like or you can just clone your first one just click the three dots on the v1 and click clone then you get oh misclick sorry and then you get a additional one and you can just configure it just click it uh, give it another name here on top and another description here and the script is already in so that's fine if you cre create it from scratch then make sure you copy also the the script again as shown in my first video okay then we go back to the functions overview we need to configure here on the gear icon the url and this is the copied one so i paste it in and what you need to do here is change the local host to n8 so this is Again, the container name of our N8N instance. Yeah, and as you can see, we have the V2 here. So this is then working fine. I think we also need to put the bureau token to default. Otherwise, it is not working. And then click save. So everything fine. And that's all you need to do. Yeah, that's fine. Let's check again. No, there's nothing else and we can also go here to executions and see our last runs everything fine here let's go back oh yeah you need to save yes make sure your workflow is active and then you can use it in web ui um okay let's go to the v3 local agentic rack here again you need to configure all credentials so the olama make sure olama oh sorry 
the change base URL is here. I, I think the name here is not correct in the local AI package default. It should be um, open web UI. I have to, to tell Cole to fix this. Yeah, because yeah, there's default uh, open web UI connection configured and we are done with these credentials. Then let's go back, make sure the progress Postgres account is in again. We already configured this in the other workflows. That's also everything Postgres. So nothing new. Let's check on the other one here below, which is for indexing the local files again. And this is also fine. There's nothing to configure. What you then need to do before you can use it is to trigger these um, two work two nodes here in the red box. So just I make it a little bit bigger. Just click the play icon to test step, and this will um, create the needed tables in the database. In my case, they are already there because I couldn't show you that it works. But as you can see. It says they are already there. Let's do the same for the document rows. I will get an error, but for you, it will create the needed tables in the database. It's also described here on the left side. Okay, there's nothing else to configure. Then again, click save and you are good to go. Back in the open web UI, just do the same as we did for v2. Make sure to configure the correct webhook URL. We can quickly check it here. Go here, production URL. So it's a little bit fast. Go here to the webhook again. Open it, go to production URL, copy it. In this case, it's a other path. So that's okay. We don't need to change here anything and put this in and replace localhost with n8n. N. We are talking to default, save. Okay, then let's test it out if it is still working. So we can, let me check this readme file here, what's in there. Let's copy this into the shared folder and then let's go into our workflow and click executions and yeah this, let me check the time yeah this was now this workflow step and as you can see it recognized a local file new local file here gone through the workflow gone here extract the document and edit it to our knowledge base which is a postgres table that's working fine. We can, this was V3. Let's check again. What is local AI package and how to install? Let's see what we get. Exhibit. Yeah. But as you can see, we get now everything from the readme with our instructions. So this is working fine. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah, for the super base, as V2 super base rec, um, we can also take a look at super base by going to the URL, which is local host port 8000. So just go to this URL and it's redirected to the default project. There's only one um, for the self hosted version. So if you want to know more about the self-hosted versions, take a look at my video on top. I link it where I install it locally. Um, yeah, we can go here to the table editor and take a look at document rows and document, oh, sorry, document metadata, where we can see which files are indexed. This is for DIY, which we had first, and then the readme as last test and then here in documents underscore pg you can see all indexed stuff if you have trouble check these tables if there is anything in 
and if not there's a problem that's it for today's video i hope it helped you if so i would appreciate a subscribe and like and make sure you also check my other videos out see you the next one bye